Kia ora koutou and welcome into the Taranaki Rugby Football Union's YouTube coverage of the 28th match between New Plymouth Boys High School and Francis Douglas Memorial College here at the Gully. And the game playing for the Max Carroll John George Trophy and it doubles as a regional knockout match as well. So plenty on the line for these two teams as they uh, are just about to come out this afternoon. And New Plymouth Boys High School are looking for nine wins in a row. And Francis Douglas last time picking up a win in 2014. That was a 20-17 to 17 win at Yarrow Stadium. And they haven't won since that. Will Johnson with the call and uh, joined alongside former New Plymouth Boys High School First 15 member Hamish Mitchell. And uh, Hamish, thanks for joining us. Uh, it's a beautiful day and the schools, both schools, get up for this one. Oh, absolutely. Well, welcome uh, to everyone uh, to the... To the game today, um, yeah, as an old boy, very, very excited about this game year on, year out. Um, yeah, it's, it's bragging rights for, for the region and, um, yeah, just a, obviously a pr privilege to be here on the gully and to be with you in commentary, Will. Yeah, thanks and looking forward to your contribution during the afternoon. One forty kickoff, so we're about seven minutes away and we'll go through the two teams. First, starting off with the visitors, Francis Douglas. We've got Sir Oni Philo, Connor McLean and Tairoa Cameron in the front row. The locks, Patrick Bradley and Hunter Crowley. Charlie Johnson, Zach Parrott and Lotu Isaiah is the uh, loose forward trio. In the halves, Ashton Mitchell, Jax Morgan. The midfield pair, Jerem Sinclair, Jack Gilmore and the back three, Maka Normanton. Zach Johnson on the wings and the fullback is Logan Smith. The bench, Picard, Manutai, Lang, Roberts, Mockett, Jones, Goodeve. And the team is coached by Thomas Kalen and also Lawrence Corlett. So uh, any names that stick out there? There's a couple of Taranaki names in there, uh, Hamish, with uh, Hunter Crowley and co. But uh, what are you looking forward to seeing from the college today? Oh, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is going to be one of the tighter battles we've had over the um, over the years, mate. Pretty evenly matched teams out there today, and uh, the college always brings some um, gutsy players fit um, and also well-drilled, um, coached by a former colleague of mine, uh, Lawrence Frank Corlett. So... They won't certainly lack any passion today, mate. Absolutely. And uh, New Plymouth Boys High School, well, the form and history is anything to go by. Their favourites heading into this one. Last year winning this clash 29-19 at Francis Douglas. Jacob Hart, Marshall Sheehan, Fanaki Fatamai, the front row, Ethan Potros, Sean O'Sullivan, the locks, the loose forwards, Corbin Nielsen, Riley Mitchell and Reeve Nally in the halves, Harry Fever, Jack Wiseman, the 12 and 13, Tony Tola and Oliver Cole. And the back three, Braden Nielsen, Liam Davis and the fullback, Tamai Collins, Taipo. And the bench, Lolahilo, Makaku, Gonnet, Pa, Milden, Rover, Fox. And Ray McDonald is the coach. And uh, the number seven, Riley Mitchell, your nephew. And a proud day for him and the family. Yeah, absolutely, mate. Um yeah, following on from his from his old man uh, Boris, myself, and and Jacob. So um, yeah, no, it's it's another good day for for the family. He'll be uh, pretty keen to put a good showing on today. Just just year eleven, so plenty to learn in the game yet, but won't lack in some enthusiasm. Absolutely will. Yeah. Francis Douglas already making their way out onto the field. Looks like they'll be playing from right to left as the school comes out too on the far embankment. That's the western side of the gully. And some of the other results in the exchange today. The Boys High under-15 team beat Francis Douglas 52-0. The second 15, Boys High won as well. And the hockey 14-0. But that hockey team, Super 8 champs and so forth. They've got a very proud history, don't they? Yeah, they have. Um, and a lot of work done by Jamie Stones and, and um, Stonesy himself. So, um, yeah, they're doing really well over the last few years. Um, and also, of note, um, just see that uh, Boys High won the... Uh, Golf Super 8 over the, mm. the beginning of the week, so that was another good achievement. So, yeah, school's in good heart, uh, and hopefully the, the boys can get up today. Francis Douglas being made to wait as they huddle up on the 10-metre line. Great conditions. Uh, the field's a little bit soft. There was a, a few showers earlier today, but that's gone away. And looking out west, which is pretty much straight ahead, uh, no weather out there. So, uh, beautiful day. And no wind as well, which is always nice when there's no breeze. Kickers can have a good day off the tee. Yeah, off, not often we get no wind in Taranaki, mate. So, yeah, got to uh, take advantage of that. Yeah, a few mind games um, at the moment from the boys high lads. And uh, interesting how uh, Francis Douglas react to that. But, um, yeah, all in all, mate, 
picture's set and we're in for a beauty. Yeah, well, Zach Parrott, the captain of Francis Douglas, second year as the skipper, just asked the referee, Rowan Gladding, where are they? Boys night. And they'll come down that long walk up from the changing rooms. And some of your memories playing in this clash? Uh, yeah, well, my first year of 97, uh, we actually won on right on the buzzer. Um, we were down 12-10 with, with no, nothing left on the, on the clock. And John McLeod... Uh, whisked his way 15 metres out down in the left-hand corner and 15-10, um, that's all she wrote. Um, yeah, so following year, uh, yeah, across to the college and, yeah, reasonable convincing winners that year, 30-odd um, to, to seven. But um, from there, I do remember uh, Scott Island, Conrad Smith-type uh, lead team uh, the following year got up over Boys High and that was uh, their first win. They were pretty uh, pretty pumped with that, so... And uh, from there on, it's been it's been a ding dong battle, really. Two, two really good schools, Will. Um, both really proud um, representatives of, of the province. So um, yeah, whoever comes out on top today will uh, obviously look forward to going a bit further. Yeah, and bragging rights too, which is always always a good one between these two colleges. It certainly is, mate. It's uh, it's you always hold that pretty pretty precious to your heart for for that rest of that year. And uh, yes, yeah, these boys will be pumped. Well, I see that we haven't made the uh, boys high in front cyclists all-time 15s, unfortunately. So uh, that was released during the week. You had a bit of a geese at that? Yeah, I have some uh, two tremendous sides mm. there and um, a lot of unlucky players um, from both sides, I'd say. You could probably make three or four pretty good teams out of all those that have missed out. But, yeah, those ones on, on the that have made it, that, that would be a ding-dong battle, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. And just as we wait for Boys High to come down, you look at their all-time 15, Feek, Slater, Heyman, Tito, Thorne, Boshier, Murray, Old, Donaldson, Gopeth, Johns, Wolf, Robbins, Brown, Roper, that's the 15 against Penn, Coltman, Manu, Barrett, a few Barretts in here, Power, Barrett, Karifi, Mitchell, Crowley, Barrett, Ratu Matavuki, Neepkins, Walden, Smith, Potros, Geordie Barrett at the back. So, um, yeah, fairly... Convincing sides there. Yeah, very formidable, mate. It'd be interesting to how you blend the old with the new style as yeah. well. Um, yeah, certainly be interesting at ruck time. Some would be rucking, some would, wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't be. So. <laughs> That's it. Reeve Nelly, the captain, leading out New Plymouth Boys High School out onto the gully, met with applause by their teammates and students on the far embankment. And the board is lining up too as they come down that hill. Co-captain is Jacob Hart in jersey number one. And we stand by now for the Huckers. I'm not sure, Will, if it's just that cold breeze that comes, it's just come through. But, uh, yeah, it still brings chills. It does, yep. I think no matter what school you came from, this is an exceptional moment and one that everybody looks forward to, particularly here at the gully. I don't think there's anything better, to be fair. Oh, no, too right, mate. One of uh, the most uh, prestigious places to probably play. And um, looking back at it, you know, you always want to give back to the school. And, um, yeah, great place to play. So hush around the ground now.
Well, the challenges have been laid down pretty intimidating there for Francis Douglas with the borders behind. Just had to take the headphones off to admire the coordination from New Plymouth boys. Unreal. Ah. Uh. Well, yeah, lots of words, mate. It's the passion that both schools have shown um, is great, and it it's leads to something that's going to be pretty special on the, on the ground today. Um, so all best to both teams, and uh, let's hope for a good spectacle. Inglewood Dairy Farmer Rowan Gladding, the referee, and he's assisted by Dwayne Keegan and Chloe Sampson. Looks like they haven't done a toss, I don't think. Teams warming up in various parts of the, of the uh, school. Looks like it will be uh, Jacob Hart from New Plymouth and Zach Parrott as the referee tosses the coin. Looks like Boys High won it and they'll uh, stay the same way. Well, uh, common sense would prevail there, Will. Uh, even though uh, might not have taken into consideration of some of the uh, conditions, but that's all good. We're in for a beauty, mate. Pretty exciting. Yep. So given that... Boys High decided the direction. Francis Douglas will kick off, and it's Jax Morgan in jersey number 10. He's had a busy couple of uh, days, actually. He was running water for Sacred Heart in the curtain raise at Yarrow Stadium on Friday. Then he was running the water for Spotswood on Saturday afternoon, before uh, just after he played. And the young man has a chance now to uh, express himself here at the gully. The game is set to go. The 28th match between these two teams... And it's going to be met by Francis Douglas. They've contested really well at the kickoff. And they've got it back here. Ashton Mitchell gets it off to Cameron. And they roll the ball up inside New Plymouth's half. Mitchell there to Morgan. Behind play they go into the midfield. And a tackle that needed to be made on the wing. Mitchell back into position to Morgan. And he gets it now. Sizing up his options. Number five is Hunter Crowley, son of Neil, takes it up into the line. Morgan back into position. And 13 is Jack Gilmore. Good tackle there by New Plymouth. Trying to get over the ball, but no cigar there. Mitchell has another crack there. Cameron with another carry. And they've gone backwards, though. Have the college. And the referee playing advantage here, slowing the ball down, I think that was. And they're going to that uh, other side. Gilmore kicks over the top, but they'll come back for that. And the first penalty of the afternoon, New Plymouth infringing. And they got the ball from the restart, but they just... Boys High defended well to just get them back a little bit. They didn't really make any metres, did they, after that? Yeah, no, it's a um, uh, good defensive line from Boys High, but uh, Francis Douglas is showing some good intent, throwing the ball and showing that they want to play with some width. So, yeah, it's just a matter of uh, making your first-up tackles and staying in, in your defensive line, so... Hot on attack here though, first chance. Seven or eight out. Yeah, good kick there from uh, Jax Morgan into that far corner. And it will be Connor McLean to throw. Played in this clash last year. Didn't go for the points. And jumping up with it is the skipper Parrott. The sack is good though from New Plymouth. But they've still got possession here. They're five metres out is Francis Douglas. Cameron's there waiting for it. Parrot at his backside. And they're only a couple of metres short here. Another pick and go for Francis Douglas. There's the ball there. Driving towards the line. It's the try. Francis Douglas score first. And waiting to see who's getting the pats on the back. It might be the captain. Zach Parrot opens a scoring in the traditional. Wow. Big early statement from college there. Simple move, just got up and over the advantage line, was patient, pick and go, and managed to get through. So, hot start, 5-0 kick to come, Will. Real intent. Yeah, and just over two and a half minutes gone in this game too. So, I didn't actually think that France Douglas had the power to get over the line, but they just showed a little bit of patience around the ruck, didn't they, close to that line? Yeah, real key there not to, is, is not to get... Uh, white line fever for a better a better word, uh, Will, and they uh, yeah they certainly showed some patience and and came around with with the rewards. So yeah, early setback. Boys, I'll have to re uh, rethink their strategy and and then um, yeah try and get some hands on the ball, get some position. Jax Morgan with the kick that uh, is favourable. 
And the flags go up. So 7-0 here at the gully. The visiting side with the upper hand. And we are 3 minutes 20 gone in this game. Yeah, real key here that Borside don't panic. Um, yep, early shot over the bells, but plenty of time to go in this game. Well, plenty of time. Oh, very much so. Jack Weidsman to restart play. Cameron has it, and he's met by Braden Nielsen, who's a very good sprinter, fastest in his age group. So if he can get some ball and some space, it could be dangerous. Upper on their own 22, McLean with another carry. Morgan, a little bit of a thumble there, and he's been put under pressure there as a result, but he clears it into no man's land. And there's a bit of space on that far side for France Douglas, uh, sorry, for Boys High as the crowd get behind their teammates. Charging run there from Fa'amai. His first touch as they go up towards the 22 to New Plymouth. Wiseman to Hart, the co captain. Getting some good movement here. New Plymouth, Wiseman with a bit of show and go. Moving it away to that left-hand side. Sean O'Sullivan is in five. And they've still got possession. New Plymouth. And they're still going to that blind side. And the other winger is Liam Davis. He's pretty quick too. So speed out wide for New Plymouth. And it's a little bit of a thumble at the back there for Harry Harvey. And it will be knocked on, and his mate, Ashton Mitchell, rubs him on the head and says, bad luck, mate, but it's my scrum. Yeah, some good phases built there from um, Boyce High, but again, a little bit like early on with Francis Douglas, a little bit lateral, um, and sending up runners probably without any real latches on them. So, yeah, early days, but um, both teams are um, certainly in this fight. First scrum of the day, Will. Got to love it. Dark art. Here we are, lads. <laughs> you can tell us what's happening. <laughs> Time to get a little excited. Oh, mate, I've played in there 20 years and I still don't know what's going on at times. <laughs> Philo, McLean, Cameron in the front row for Francis Douglas and for Boys Eye Heart, Sheen and Fatamai. But they win it in their own 22 and this is great play. That's gone forward though off New Plymouth has it in contact and the referee decides to play on. And New Plymouth get it back. Fever, under a little bit of pressure at the back of the ruck, has to mop up that little mistake there. And they have possession. That's uh, Mitchell there going up towards the 22. A couple of one-off runners in midfield for New Plymouth. That was Hart again. Fever to Wiseman. Referee playing advantage. College may have come up offside. And they'll come back for that penalty there. Yep, they were offside. A couple of options here. Either they go for the points or they kick for the corner. Yes, yeah, so they've got a good, little, little bit of momentum here. It's uh, it'll be interesting to see what they do. Um, if you're a betting man, I'd like to say they go to the sideline. Looks like he's lining that up. Yep. That's Harry Fever too, who uh, kicks for the sideline instead of Wiseman. Show my age here, uh, Will. But there's a lot of lineage out here of guys that have uh, mm. that I've tussled with and played with over uh, many a year. So good to see that they're coming through the grades. Oh, yeah. Both teams. Yeah. Oh, Fever, his father, Craig, played for Taranaki at halfback. And Craig not too short of a word on the field, which is brilliant. Now refereeing, actually, so good on him. So New Plymouth, five metres out from the line here. Fever, now what can they do? Wiseman with a nice little pass off to Nielsen in from the wing. Morgan trying to get over the ball. No cigar, though. They go back to that left-hand side. That's uh, Mitchell again with a carry. Still plugging away to that left. And O'Sullivan into big contact. Fever. And the college defence holding up so far again. And uh, thought about going right, then went back to that left-hand side. Fatamai is driven back by two or three from Francis Douglas. But the ball is still there for the home side. Wiseman now. Bit of a show into the line. Fever there picks it up and it's off to the left-hand side. That's a try. That's the winger and Liam Davis. Well, it was building there for a couple of phases there for New Plymouth. And the home team is on the board. Yeah, well-structured play. Um, again, just, just being patient in that red zone. Uh, Francis Douglas defence have got a, a good line there. Um, but just managed to get a small overlap down the blind side using... Uh, all width of the field and, and a good good team try, really. 
Um, built, built a lot of phases in there and a lot of pressure. So they'll feel good about that, but getting back uh, close to level terms here. And, um, yeah, both teams are, uh, are playing good form of, of footy. Well, Yeah, they are. Mistake free so far, relatively. And uh, Harry Fever has a chance to draw level with a very tough kick from the sideline. And the breeze has just picked up where we are. Not sure what it's like on the field, but if you have a look at that flag next to him, it's not really moving. So he might be a bit sheltered down there. Yeah, we're from an elevated position up here, obviously, but um, wind should sort of be a bit of a westerly behind his back or over his right shoulder, so might be helping a little bit. So nine minutes gone, 7-5 with the kick to come. Francis Douglas with the advantage. A hush behind him. And this one is just away to the right-hand side. So the Davis try couldn't be converted. College still with the upper hand, 7-5, nine and a half gone in this game. Great start from both teams. Um, no panic from either team. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, certainly going to be ding-dong, I'd say. Yeah. Parrot chasing for the college. But it falls on New Plymouth side. Fever, who missed the conversion, lining up his troops for a box kick over the top. Davis is chasing, and he almost collects that too. But it falls into the hands of Mitchell. Tackled in front of uh, the opposition supporters. Met by a few raspberries. Cameron running onto it. It's obviously a ploy for the college to use him at short range there, up towards the halfway line. Morgan. Back into position, looking for the 50-22, potentially. But Collins Tyrepol is back there at fullback. Passes the ball off to the deck, off from the deck, I should say. Fever, Fatamai running onto it. And he's a big man. Philo takes him down. Wiseman will kick downfield. Mucka Normanton in 14, going back and grabbing that inside his 22. Will he return the favour? No, he's going to have a bit of a run here. And slightly isolated, but the support gets there eventually, but too late. Well, I thought that he would return the kick, but he went into contact, and the turnover has been made. Yeah, a little risk and reward there, Will. Obviously, a bit of a fractured line, D-line from Boys High. Uh, managed to scramble, and great work from the hooker to be there and put pressure on the ball and turn it over. Line out. Five, six out again for Boys High. Be looking to, uh, I'd say, drive from here, Will. Yeah. Will be Sheehan with the throw. And they go up with it really well. They hold the jumper up there just a little bit, but it's been penalised, I think. I'm not sure if it was for holding the guy up or whether it was for maybe a bit of obstruction there. Well, they're offside, is the call by the ref. So where the... Uh, the the line that hasn't moved well off the mark and then they've come with inside the 10. Anyway, out of the red zone now, Francis Douglas, good clearance. Opportunity missed from Boyce High there, a little bit. Yeah. Well, I heard Lawrence Corlett, the coach, talking to Rowan Gladding about line-out time pre-game, so he may have sowed a seed there. Good coaching, good refereeing. And Connor McLean to throw into the line-out again. And the throw was not great at all, so I'll call that back. And boys height, a scrum. 15 in, inside Francis Douglas's half, with a blind to work with. Yeah, we're uh, standing in the barrel of another uh, scrum here, which is always exciting. Um, boys high, yeah, another opportunity here. It'll be interesting to see what they've got. Um, pretty influential uh, 12 out there. Um, Big boy. wonder if he might just cut it up and take the advantage line early. Yeah, Tola, his first year, and the first 15 rugby league player as well in Jersey 12 with the headgear on. So that's the way they're going to go. Wiseman, here's Tola now, decides to pass it instead of run it. Collins Tyrepal in from fullback there. Still got ball. As Mitchell cut out pass there to Davis. Has he got some speed? He tries to kick it back in field. It's messy at the back. Mitchell there to tidy up along with Fever. So still got it around about five metres out from the 22. 
Off it goes to Ethan Potros. And Cameron with a big tackle there. It's high though, so the referee's playing advantage. Here's Tola, the man we were talking about with the headgear. A couple of metres up towards the 22. Good quick recycling and quick ball as Hart has a crack. Morgan trying to get over it to win it, but can't get it. So move it away into the back line. Tola. That was Cole. Here's some space on that left-hand edge now here. Reeve, the co-captain, darts back in field. Fever running onto it as Wiseman. Nice pass off the deck. And College got to release him there and trying to roll out. But it is there for Wiseman. And again, behind play they go. And uh, supporters crying out for a high tackle. But I think it was okay. Fever, Wiseman. Drops it off to Hart again. Free-flowing game here in the opening 14 minutes of this game, and it's flown by as well. They move it back to that open side, to Wiseman. Tolar now, thought about passing, then goes into contact. Cameron over the ball, can't win it. Wiseman out the back to Mitchell. Zach Parrott, his opposite, takes him down with a couple of others. Running onto it is Fa'amai. Again, in inching ever so close to that line. Off the back, it goes. Nally cuts back in field. The co-captain lays it back. There's a blind to work with again. And stretching out, trying to score. No, he's out. Is Liam Davis. Touchline was just a little bit too close than what he thought. But they look really good, boys. I know they haven't had a game for about 10 days. Or even 14 days, should I say. But they're actually looking really good. Yeah, they are. They're stringing a lot of phases together. But full credit to college at the moment. They are defending like beasts. And then taking the ball away now. And back on the front foot. Isaiah, the number eight. It was one at the line out by Hunter Crowley. Morgan now to clear from inside the half. As we've got tents and so forth flying around everywhere. And the play carries on. And that's Collins Taipal who is the uh, 15. Mitchell runs it up over the 10 metre line. Should have bought some pegs, Billy. <laughs> Rocks in our pockets. Yeah. No, it's a messy ball at the back there. Tola, though, picks it up. And Philo takes him down. Again, referee playing the advantage. And they'll come back for that one. They wait for the signal, and they may have been offside the college. Yeah, and they were. So again, more options to contend with here as Colin McLean goes down. And uh, first stoppage within 16, nearly 16 and a half minutes, we get the first stoppage. It's It's been a helter-skelter start. Absolutely, but and uh, for an old adage, it's full credit to both sides. We've got boys high with a lot of position, um, showing a lot of intent and, and a lot of physicality. But on the flip side, the college is really stuck to their guns, stuck to the systems, and, and as I say, tackling their hearts out. So it's going to be energy sapping stuff, and it's the first one that sort of uh, wilts, I guess. Well, for a better word, it's um, it's all on. And that stoppage didn't take long at all. Uh, Conor McLean went down. Nick Arnold, the physio, attended to him, and he's got back up as uh, boys height. Go for the line out again, and they'll be aware of that earlier mistake when they were last in the 22 with the line out is Marshall Sheehan hostile prefect to throw and this time it is a good one here for New Plymouth, they get the drive going and it's a good one too they've got momentum here and if that can carry on it could be a good result the ball is at the back there you can see it and Fever wants it, they've been told to use it Tola now trying to bust his way through Four metres out here. Wiseman. Davis was there. Passes back in field though. And it's being knocked on. So college under advantage as they'll try and clear from uh, an awkward position. But uh, no advantage coming so they'll come back for the scrum. Yeah, 50-50 under the bar there. Just needed to be patient. Go another phase. Would have stretched him again wide. Had some numbers rolling around as well. But as I say, it's it's position at the moment must be 80-20 at at, at most, it's really uh, full credit to to the college at the moment. Defensively, are, are hanging on. 
as we see top right of your screen is uh, a man that we all know in Leo Crowley pacing the dead ball line. He has been helping out Francis Douglas this season after his successful season last year with Wellington. Nice to see him back here and giving back. It's an 8-9 play off the back of the scrum and Mitchell is hit hard there. And they may have got the turnover here, New Plymouth. No, they haven't. And Logan Smith, the fullback, has done really well there for the college. As the wind picks up, Morgan to clear. Hasn't found touch. Collins to Ipole. Fields it, but uh, I think Boys Harbour offside there. And they'll come back to have another chance to clear from the 22. Oh, some uh, well-earned relief here for uh, the college. Battle valiantly on defence down here, and they'll be looking forward to uh, getting out of their red zone, hopefully, with a good clearance. Scrum time, I know we've probably had about two or three, but quite hard to determine who's got dominance at this stage. Oh, look, it's been pretty messy, to be honest, Will. It's, mm. um, yeah, not overly uh, convincing either way. But great kick, missed touch. Yeah, and that needed to go out. And Collins Tyrepaul. Over it goes to Nielsen, skips out one and goes down around the uh, 10 metre line. Fever gets back in position. Here's Hart, met by his opposite in Philo. Uh, coming back to this uh, near side and a little bit slippery there. Maybe the, the showers earlier in the day made a bit of an impact. And there's a penalty. Player off his feet. And a chance for Boys High to get into the 22 and continue with that position. A little unlucky there, uh, uh, Francis Douglas. I actually thought they probably had all right to the ball. Just a fraction uh, a fraction slow and came off their feet. Another good kick inside the 22. So they'll set this one up again. Of course, as we uh, said in the intro, playing for the uh, John George Max Carroll Trophy. And so far, Francis Douglas with a 7-5 advantage. But New Plymouth... As Hamish said before, 80-20 split in the possession, you'd imagine. College doing well here just to stop the momentum, but now it starts going forward there for New Plymouth. Referee managing players to make sure they come through the gate and so forth, but it breaks away and it's uh, knocked on there. Yeah, good more defence from the college there. Uh, boys High just... just Fractured a little bit and just gave him the opportunity to get in past the nails and get on the ball. Uh, result turnover. And again, a chance to relieve some pressure with a good scrum from the college. <coughs> Wind's really starting to get up here, Will. It's probably favouring boys high at the moment, so they want to make hay while the sun shines in this red zone. Yep. Here's Morgan now. In fact, that's Smith up from fullback. Jax Morgan now gets it and kicks it downfield again. Hasn't found touch. Straight down the throat of Nielsen. Space got, wide. Yep. And they got numbers away to that left-hand side. Wiseman. Over it goes to Davis, who's already scored a try this afternoon. Tries to cut back in field, but instead uh, goes into the contact. Mitchell on the charge. Fever to Wiseman. Good 19 combination. Hart with another carry. Feeds it off to O'Sullivan. It's loose at the back. And the Collars just can't quite control it there. I know it was loose. Tried to dive on it and knock the ball on. So boys high with another chance. Just on the 22. Starting to find a little bit of space out wide on the edges. Boys high, but just guilty of uh, letting go passes that are probably not on at the moment. Um... Risk and reward stuff. If it comes off, you're a hero. If not, uh, it breaks down. But, yeah, they're going to be looking for points here, Will, or else they um, might be uh, a little bit upset with themselves having that much position and territory. Yeah, about seven and a half minutes. Oh, in fact, a bit, little bit more than that. We're playing 35s, of course, in uh, first 15 rugby instead of 30s or 40s. It's an 8-9 play, and it's a switch as well for New Plymouth. Wiseman to Tola now breaks out a one, and he's in a bit of space. Can't quite get the pass away, though. Going to the open. Fa'amai gets a bit of a drive going. Fever as they shift it away to the left. Here's Mitchell again. Loose pill, but it's gone backwards. Says referee Gladding. 
And uh, College penalised again for being offside there. And they're going to go quickly. Nelly takes it off. There's the goal line just to the right-hand side of the picture. Fever digging in and grabbing it. Good pressure there being applied by the College. And uh, flirting with that touchline on the far side. It's been knocked on in contact. And that's met by applause from that very loud embankment on the far side. Yeah, a little fatigue starting to creep in as we get closer on half time. Um, both teams are working really hard, Will. Um, handling errors just starting to creep in. So scrum times have been a little messy. Um, as we said before, not a lot of ascendancy from both teams, or either team. And um, But what they are doing is getting good clean ball f for their backs, both teams. So Chance for boys high here, as we've said. Hot on attack for quite some time. Need to uh, come out of this or something. We've seen a try from Perrett. That was converted by Morgan. And Liam Davis scored for the Plymouth boys. So 7-5 with uh, ten and a half to play. And by the way, we're going off the ground clock. Which is the only one I can see. a bit gusty up here, isn't it? Certainly is. After praising Terrod Ice for having no uh, win. <laughs> they go to that left-hand side, Fever. Passes back and field, they've still got it. <laughs> it's very scrappy. Not a bad option to go down to that left-hand side, that short little flank. And they've still got it, and they'll look to drive it forward now. Boys high, ever so close to the line. Front cyclist got to be careful not to collapse that deliberately Hart's over the ball in fact he's going to leave it for his teammate and he's over can't quite see who's got it it might be Mitchell who scores that's the second one of the day for New Plymouth yeah uh, some pretty good reward for the amount of pressure yeah good constant effort constant pressure and finally have got to uh, got on the board mate and um, they'll be reasonably happy with that First time in the lead, 10-7 with the kick to Gump. 26 minutes gone. Yeah, they had two cracks, eh? First down that left-hand edge, and then, of course, that they got the pick-and-go going. Tell you what, you can certainly tell that uh, that's Honky Fever's son. He certainly knows how to find a little gap, whether it be on the blind side or an open play. He uh, reminds me very much of him. A versatile player too. Played second five before. Taranaki under 16 player. And now slotting into half back. As his earlier attempt missed, but this time he makes up for it. 12 7 here at the gully. The home team in front. Yeah, great strike. Um, good reward again for some good patience, but the college. Should be uh, reasonably happy still, though. They've, they've held back Boyce High for quite a lot of time down there. So definitely in the game. Another contestable restart. But New Plymouth goes up for that. It was Zach Perrett again running onto it. Fever to the try scorer and Riley Mitchell makes it up over the gain line. Moving it away. In fact, it's a box kick over the top. Not a great kick. May have been all inside the 10, but the referee allows it to play on as Wiseman goes up and gets that. It's a better kick, though, from Fever, but it's straight down the throat of Jax Morgan. It got distance as opposed to the other one. Nice ball off the deck, and Zach Johnson in number 11. A little bit isolated, but the troops get there in time. And the college can show us now what they've got in the uh, attacking toolbox. Mitchell, they go behind play, Sinclair to Parrott, good tackle there up on halfway, still got possession, and uh, number 15 is Logan Smith, 
champion beach sprinter. So a couple of speedsters in both of these teams. Boys High coming up very flat. Philo with a carry up towards the 10 metre line. And it's been knocked on though by Mitchell. And they've got a little bit of space here and O'Sullivan moving it away. And it's been charged and it's out. Advantage may have been over. Just need time with the ball, don't they, the college? Because just a little bit messy for them at the moment. Yeah, a couple of times they've actually hit um, some reasonable numbers on the outside. It's just, uh, yeah, trying to get it to those boys. And, and um, But credit credit's due. The uh, boys high boys are fronting up on D as well. Boys high having a bit of a chat just before that line out. It's a nice one too. Fever to Tola in the midfield. He's got a couple of support players around him and Mitchell and Nelly doesn't need them and look at just the power of the young man. Back in the pocket is Wiseman. He'll kick for Smith. In the 22. And here we go. A little bit of space down this near edge and it's Johnson with a kick down touch and it goes out. Yeah, just... It. Guilty of over committing on the tackle there. Didn't need to really come in. It was covered. Um, yeah, opened up some good space for, for the left winger. Just a shame that ball happened to uh, roll into touch. Otherwise, it would have been game on. And again, another conference there for New Plymouth. Ethan Potros and Sean O'Sullivan. The locks. Uh, it's a little bit messy. Referee playing advantage towards uh, Francis Douglas now. They get them all and the drive going up towards the 22. First time they entered the 22 of New Plymouth, they scored. Can they do that again? Jax Morgan remonstrating about the ball being available, but uh, no advantage there. They'll come back for the scrum. And a good platform here with about five minutes to play. Now it looks like there's going to be a substitution being made just before the break. Yeah, tactical sub by the looks from in the front row. Number three coming off, replaced by Mariku. See if we can get... Uh, yeah, Fatamai's gone off, yeah. Fatamai's gone off, and yeah. So a very tactical here from Boyce High, see if we can get some dominance late in the half. Two halfbacks playing games. Told they're very good mates, both from South Taranaki. 8-9 play, Mitchell gets it back, Morgan, they skip Sinclair, back to Mitchell, and the wingers in action too. Oh, if that went to hand to Smith, that would have been interesting, but he goes back and picks it up, it was Zach Johnson that made the pass. There's a player down though, right down in front of us, and it, it might be Morgan. Referee, got the arm out. Yeah, hands on the ground before he actually attacked the ball. You've got to go straight onto the ball. Can't support yourself with your hands on the ground. As the boys get involved in the hucker on the far side as referee calls time off. Uh, Morgan might be winded, I think, looking at that. Yeah, got a late shot there. I just sort of the, the my peripherals. So um, lucky to get away with it, to be honest. So, yeah, pretty crucial time here with about three or four left in the half. Boys will be really keen to keep Francis Douglas out and of course on the flip side um, the college will be really uh, interested in getting down in that corner and uh, repeating what they did in the first two minutes. Yeah, it looks like Morgan will continue. And uh, he'll kick for touch here. Four and a half to play as the Haka echoes around this gully ground. Just sense a little bit of a momentum swing, and that's come on the back of um, a bit more position for the college. So, yeah, real good chance here just on the 22 to, to build an attack. So the line outs. Just outside the 22. Parrott goes up for it. Lays it back and they get the drive going here. Do the college. Great momentum. And it's just gone lateral there. 
Good pressure there by New Plymouth. And the ball is a little bit slow for Mitchell. Cameron, though, is waiting and runs onto it. Good defence, though, by New Plymouth. The ball is still there, and Philo has another carry. Mitchell, oh, it's been dropped, though, by Philo again. So he's not happy with himself. Another defending scrum here to New Plymouth. Yeah, they'll nice. look to uh, clear, won't they? Yeah, absolutely. Um, good direct running there from the college. Just the hands let them down at, at vital times. Um, yeah, you want to stay in the game. You've got to be clinical and uh, hang on to the ball and recycle. So, yeah, big scrum here needed from both schools. One to attack and obviously one to get out of the, the red zone. It's a big shunt there from New Plymouth. Tola now runs it up towards the 22. As a boot goes flying in the background. Wiseman oh, just delayed the kick a little bit too. Oh, great Nielsen hands. though picks it up. He kicks it down, but uh, ricochets off a number of front cyclist players. It was great hands, wasn't it? Referee playing advantage for the knock on is Morgan. Off to the number eight, Isaiah. Morgan again at first receiver, Cameron. Sinclair, Logan Smith into the line from fullback. Up on the 10 metre line, Mitchell hunting and grabbing it, and a player not rolling away. So again, just before the break, they've got a minute to go. If they score and convert this one, they're back in the lead. Yeah, a little bit of ill discipline now, just sort of creeping into the boys' high game. Just got to be able to judge when you actually have a go at the ball and when you don't, when the ruck's lost, it's better off just get into the D-line and, and back yourself to, to make a big tackle and turn it over that way. Big chance here now. Good kick. Right on the 22. I thought Morgan was going to go for the points there, the way he put the ball down, but I think he was just buying himself a little bit of time. Yeah, big statement here if College can get over right on half time. Where they're driving, Maul's going well, isn't it? And that's a shambles. But it's uh, picked up at the back. And Philo is in a little bit of space there as he drives up towards the five-metre line here for Francis Douglas. There's Cameron. Bumps off one. So some good contact here. Both teams' body on the line. Parrott already scored a try. Iron up another one as he's taken down by his opposite in Mitchell. Number five is Hunter Crowley. Ever so close here, and that is uh, Isaiah lays it back. McLean driven back. Ball is there, ever so close. The other post, and that is the try line reaching out just short, and it's been knocked on. Good defence by New Plymouth. And they'll well, clear this one. opportunity here if they can go. Yeah, they've got numbers. And there's Liam Davis trying to skin Morgan around the outside. Got the pass away. Yeah, there were numbers away on that far side. Great hands. Fever does well to control it. And he'll clear for touch. Uh, in fact, clear downfield. Wasn't going for touch, just looking for the space in the areas. Going lateral. And he gets away with it. That's Logan Smith. The support gets there from Francis Douglas. And uh, again, the arm goes out. No clear release at the tackle. Mitchell. Cameron. Loses it back, but they're under advantage. They'll come back. Yeah, Smith just found that little gap, didn't he, and He's just penetrated looking, it. Looking pretty dangerous from broken play, mate. You uh, kicked the ball to him at your peril. Um, absolutely. Just finding space when there's not a lot breaks the gap and is, is looking real dangerous. So third shot, third opportunity yeah. now in the college. They really need to put something on the board here. Can they go third time lucky? As the flag goes up on the near side, Dwayne Keegan's the man there. An attempt to flick it back in field. Really good kick. That great kick, actually, from college number 10, Morgan. has put them in a great position to drive here, which has been a strength. So five out from the line. It's a quick line out to Isaiah, moving it into the midfield. Sinclair and Gilmore working well. Sinclair now up towards the try line. 
Nice pass there. The 12 and 13 working really well. Parrott, as I said, has one already. They go to that open side. Over the top it goes. Is it a try? It's a four pass. Four pass. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, oh dear. Right on half time. They really needed that. And at Normanton could have scored that one if the pass from Morgan wasn't forward. But we go to the break here. And New Plymouth Boys High School. This is a tight one. They lead by 12-7. And uh, your assertions on the first half, Hamish? Oh, yeah, well, early doors. France Tuck has come flying out of the gates, and within two minutes were, were physical and dominant and got up and over the line. Um, from there on, it was pretty much in, um, stuck on their goal line. Uh, boys High, 80% of possession, really plugged away. Um, and probably deserved their lead, but towards the end of the second half, um, sort of real momentum shift on the back of some good Francis Douglas play and also a little bit of ill-discipline. And, um, yeah, we're, we've got a game on our hands, Will. Yeah, it should be a cracker. Tries to Davis and Mitchell for New Plymouth Boys High School. Only one conversion so far, so that gives them the uh, 12 points. And for Francis Douglas, Parrott scored earlier on. Morgan converted for their seven, so 12-7 at half time, And we'll come back very shortly with the second half here at the Gully.
welcome back to the gully at New Plymouth Boys High School for the 28th instalment of this match, Francis Douglas and New Plymouth Boys with the home team, New Plymouth Boys, with a 12-7 advantage. It's a tight one as we just about to enter the second half. And Hamish Mitchell alongside me and uh, a really tight first half, wasn't it? It was quite impressive. Yeah, it was um, very direct from both teams. Showed a lot of... Uh, Enthusiasm to throw the ball wide and, and find some space, which is great. Um, some direct running, so yeah, hit everything you want, mate. Um, but as you say, it's pretty much going to come down to who wants it most in the second half. Takes their opportunities, it's patient in the red zone, and yeah, puts points on the pockets. It keeps the scoreboard ticking over. Two tries to one so far. Davis and Mitchell with the tries for New Plymouth boys and pair it for Francis Douglas and one conversion each as Rowan Gladding gets the second half underway here at the gully. Parrot goes up with it and uh, Liam Davis does a great job at the restart and the restarts have been really competitive throughout this whole game as Jacob Hart runs it up for New Plymouth. Harry Fever off to Wiseman. Got a bit, little bit of space on that far side. New Plymouth Boys High School with possession early on in this second half. Wiseman again, it's a cutout pass and it goes on the floor, but it's been picked up nicely there from Riley Mitchell. They still plug away to this uh, left-hand side. Kick over the top from Wiseman and uh, Franz Douglas will get the line out. Yeah, good D there from the college. Not much option there, but to, to put the kick in in the end, I'd just like to see it a little bit longer and deeper in the corner. Here we go again. Oh, quick one too. Cameron and McLean working well on the uh, near touch line. Morgan. And it goes off to Philo. Mitchell to Morgan again. Sinclair in the 22. Gilmore over it goes to uh, Zach Johnson. The winger on that far side passes it back in field to Logan Smith. Met by some rowdy voices on that far side. Still got possession though, the college. They pass it back to Morgan, who'll clear. Can't kick it out on the full as it's been passed back into the 22. Nielsen to Collins to Pyatt. Over the top it goes. Here's Reeve Nelly and a little bit of space, and it's been forward. <laughs> it was a way too, I think. There were a few options there for him, but we won't have a chance to see what happens there because uh, they'll come back for the scrum. Yeah, no, Marjorie Ford. Probably a good call from the ref. But yeah, having said that, if it was deemed play on, it could have been a different story down this left hand side here. So the first opportunity here for Francis Douglas inside, just inside New Plymouth's half. Already had a replacement at scrum time for New Plymouth. And Mitchell now to Morgan. And that is uh, Gilmore, the 13. Over it goes to Smith. He had uh, Johnson on his outside, but decided to go back into contact. Morgan now. And that is Isaiah, the number eight. Ball in one hand, trying to get the offload. Decides to go to ground. Again, using that left-hand side. He's Parrot now in some space. Almost broke through. Turn and up. it's been turned over, yep. Came out of nowhere, really. Players are standing around. Mitchell sizes up his options. He's met by Bradley. Wiseman now to clear. And they allow it to bounce. Normington trying to get it around the outside. Does pretty well there, too. But again, boys high right there and uh, yeah don't think he was ever supporting his body weight there was that uh, the number five in Sean O'Sullivan yeah good effort but yeah just just fell over at the last hurdle basically so line out just outside the 22 and we saw in the first half number of drives there from Francis Douglas and boys high too, to be fair. But nothing really eventuated from them. So 
Interesting to see what happens from this one. There's been a couple of quick lineouts too during the game. It's a good ball. Yep. No defence there. Uh, Parrott runs away with it and still going there a little bit too. Mitchell to McLean running into contact. This is where the Clodge have been really good on these close encounters. Direct and pretty brutal. Moving it back to this right hand side. Normington with a bit of a step. Trying to get round the outside. And uh, controlled there nicely at the back there for the college. Cameron. Mitchell again. Number four is uh, Patrick Bradley called in this year to the squad. The other lock is Hunter Crowley. Still got movement, still got possession. And ever so close to the line. This is what they did when they started the game. They scored first as Cameron with his head down. And the defence so far from New Plymouth, very good. Coaches screaming. Morgan now off it goes. Here's Sinclair now. Sinclair's nice over. Score. College score their second. And the first try of the second half. Patience and momentum and quick recycling too. Gets in the reward. Yeah, really good at that direct stuff around close. Sucked in boys high. In and around the ruck defensively. And then some good options out wide. Take the space and found the line nicely well. Kick to come. Could be back in front. Yeah. Level at the moment. So certainly started again with some good intent, Will, like they did in the first half. So hopefully they, yeah, from college point of view, they want to maintain it. Nice exit from the kickoff and put put pressure back on boys high in their own half. It's probably something they didn't do in the first half, eh? They, they did score that first try, but then they sort of fell away a little bit and they had to defend for long periods of time. Yeah, and it's taxing. Um, and they did it well, and but unfortunately, um, yeah, let a, try, a couple of tries in, so they'll be working hard on that. Morgan trying to swing that one around, and no. Just couldn't quite use the win there, so the score remains 12 all here at the gully. And 11 minutes gone in the, uh, in fact, no, it'll be six minutes gone in the first half. Yeah, great strike. Just unfortunate the wind didn't quite bring it around. Good to see, too, that the two principals running water. Tim Stuck for Franz Douglas and Sam Moore for Boys High. Absolutely. No, it's great to see that, that they're involved still and, and both good players in their own right in their own day. So a wealth of knowledge. And uh, looks like we might have another sub here. Is it coming on? Number 21 for Boys High. William Meyer Rover. And he's replaced. Oh, he's about three that'll come on, Will. Oh, geez. Yeah. yeah. We'll uh, figure that out. Yeah. Rover there is uh, first involvement in the game, holding him up. So Morgan, off it goes to Isaiah. Now here's Cameron, who's done that a lot before. The ball is, though, is loose, and they've got some numbers and space on that far side, do New Plymouth. Into the shade they go, up towards the 22. Fever running onto it. Matuku off to that far side, and space again, darting back is Nielsen. Again, ever so close to the line. Wiseman in jersey 10 has another crack, but he's shunted back, though, by the college defence. Get another pick and drive going here. Can they get back into the lead? Again, the home team. And uh, off their feet, I think. And uh, Fever wants to take it quickly, but he, he can't take it off the mark. Oh, double blow. No, just injury. I think there's a player in here. It might yeah. be, uh, is it Philo who's down? It looks like uh, Rovers come on for number 14, uh, number 11, Liam Davis, who was had a fine inning this afternoon. And just catch up on a couple of the forward reserves coming there too. Ola Lili, I think, in 16's come on. I'm just trying to look at the numbers. On the screen. Penalty here, so it'll be interesting. Boys High keep the pressure on, go to the corner. Number 14, 
and we're adding Gonay just come on as well. Frenchman. Frenchman. Yeah. Yeah. Should add a bit of flair. Here we go. Oh. No. no. Gladding's not happy about that one, I think. Yeah. Just he's I think he's catching up on subs too, mate. Yeah. Coming thick and fast. So big test here, both teams. Here we go. Yep, they go for the tap instead of the line out. And there's the line right there. Fever going in and grabbing it. There is Wiseman. And uh, off it goes. A nice pass out the back door, but I think it's been turned over, has it? Yeah, it has. Maybe it wasn't so nice. No, I didn't need to do that. Uh, Riley Mitchell guilty of just probably uh, getting a bit excited, but they're still here. Does he get that from his father or his uncle? Uh, <laughs> neither. I think it's come from his mother's his side. Mother, yeah. We didn't have those sort of skills, mate. <laughs> Diesel engines, that's about it. Yeah, and taken into contact. That's the one. Yeah. 16. Soani Olahilu throws. And New Plymouth get the drive going. They all join. Goes lateral. And the ball is still at the back there. Fine drive. Yeah, that's a good one too, isn't it? They've still got momentum and dangerous to stop. Five metres out, but the college do a good job. Now told to use it all. That's once anyway by the ref as it, as it goes down. And they get it out to the backs. Toller. Yeah, it was a good covering tackle coming across now. And off it goes. Numbers away. If that pass went to Nielsen, Great one it on was one all P. over. Yeah. The defence oh, came up well and they get one. the penalty too, Francis Douglas. Great work on defence. They've been rewarded. Absolutely. Lovely couple of tackles. One to stop um, Boys High 12 under the bar. And then they hustled out wide, took ball and all, created the turnover. It's pretty heroic, eh? And they get up for these occasions. Absolutely. It's, it's a momentum turner and also gets the boys up within the team. Oh, that one hasn't found touch, though, off the boot of Morgan. And Nelson allows that to bounce. He's got all the time in the world here. Goes lateral and then bangs into the upcoming defence. Fever to Wiseman. Kick downfield there from the number 13 and Oliver Cole. Oh, and a little bit isolated there as the numbers there from New Plymouth into the ruck. But they've uh, controlled it there. Has uh, Francis Douglas. A little bit of uh, footsies going on there behind the ruck. So Mitchell. Morgan needs to find touch here. And that one's bang, gone downfield. And there's Cole. Space wide if they can get there. Numbers away. Need to, to pass right early. Inside. They do, and they haven't really quite done that. And it's been lost forward again as the sides go up around the venue. Yep, just guilty of hanging on to that too long. Needed to straighten square up and then release his outsides. Another substitution is uh, Tyrell Milden comes on in jersey 20. That'll be a halfback replacement. It's for uh, Harry Fever, I think. Yep, and it isn't. Fever's, he's gone well. He, he's kicked nicely. A couple of good passes. Yeah, he's got a real good nose for space, like I said earlier, and has controlled, the, been part of a pretty good 8, 9, 10 axis today. So, yeah, no, he's done really, really well. Um, obviously, just looking for a little bit more punch around the field, getting to rucks maybe, um, and clearing that ball. But yeah, boys, I... Got some opportunities out wide. They just haven't been able to exploit it with probably uh, pass always beats the man, Will. Mm. Yeah, that's what it is. They uh, can't quite link up, but equally the defence is coming up and just putting that little bit of pressure on, isn't it? Yeah, they scrambled well. No two ways about that. Good scrum there, but uh, Mitchell takes off and goes blind. And he's still going, breaks away from a couple of tackles. That one's forward. As Collins Typort has to tidy up. And this time they go on the attack as Cole thought about kicking. Goes around Morgan, taken down by Mitchell, just inside their own half. Space to the right. Look at the numbers away, piling up on that right-hand side. And this time, the handling is good. A couple of nice passes there on that far side. 
and breaking away. In fact, uh, they've got no, to come, come back. back. Forward yeah. pass here or... No, penalty midfield. Penalty, I think, yeah. And they're offside. Yep. Game started to really break up. Just some simple things that can be done from both teams to to secure that space and, and, and make a break. Just might be trying to be guilty a little bit fancy at times. It's a fine line. You can't coach that sort of stuff, but then also you need to be uh, way up the risk and reward of it. Yeah, either you've got it or you don't, eh? No, this is true. Yeah. So line out, line out on the far side of the field. Still 12 all in this game. 48 minutes gone in the match. You know, Sullivan goes up in the line out for New Plymouth. A little bit sloppy there as the ball goes to ground. Lovely hands. Oh, uh, they're going to come back for that penalty. Dwayne Keegan, I think, the assistant referee, has spotted something against New Plymouth. Uh, maybe in a shoulder into the ruck, possibly. Yeah, interesting call. No, I didn't see that one, but anyway, this is what it is. To relieve some pressure now. It's a good kick, he's found some touch. Yeah, he needed to find touch too. Just a couple of clearing kicks from Morgan hasn't. And it's uh, put the college back under pressure. But this will give them uh, a little bit of time now to set their line out on the far side of the field. McLean will be told how good he is or not from that far side. Absolutely, it's a cauldron over there. Not this, bad. Yeah, it's a good one. A good platform here for Francis Douglas to work off. And uh, Isaiah just overrunning that one. And Gilmore has to tidy up. Done he's, well. a, he's pretty elusive too, actually, as Tola is over it. Can't quite win it. They move it away back towards uh, where the play came from. Slow ball here for the college. Is, uh, it's another switch. And pair it now up oh, over the game ball. line. That's a great pass there to Jack Gilmore, but he's hit hard there by Tola, and he wins the penalty as well. No, no he had two cracks at two it, cracks I think. Two it, yep. yep. Some good handling, and Francis Douglas making the most of those gaps, trying to just slice through and up over the advantage line. And uh, Morgan now with a chance to get it inside the 22. Yep, Boys high, just a little bit fractured around the rucks in their defensive line. Oh, another must touch. Oh, no. Yeah. Coach killer. It is. Oh. Team to charge down there. Was that touched or not? Goes straight up. They allow it to bounce. They've got some time. There's Zach Johnson comes in off the wing to uh, secure that one. Morgan in midfield. Cameron again with another carry. Moving it back towards this near side. Isaiah, the big number eight. Parrot, the captain. College just doing enough there to secure the ball at the breakdown. Philo, Mitchell running onto it is the big uh, lock, number five, Hunter Crowley. Still got possession up inside the 22 now as the uh, attempted turnover comes from New Plymouth. But I think this college has still got that. Boy, so just got to be careful they don't come in on, on the angle. Philo with another carry. Fords are being busy today. A couple of players down injured. Normington now. He had a player on his outside and number six and Charlie Johnson, but decided to cut back and field. Players down, but they're still going to carry on here. Cameron, and it's been knocked on. Looking good with ball in hand. Absolutely well. Very, very patient and just one transfer too many and, and knock the ball on. But my word, what they do, they do really well, college. Really direct, simple game plan, suck players in, two or three phases and look to go wide after that. Setting up midfield gives you two options to attack both both sides of the field, very, really hard to defend. Bit of cramp I think there from uh, the players just to the bottom left of screen. Yeah, heavy underfoot so uh, you've been fairly willing and, and running a lot of Ks today so attrition rates up there couple of subs on that far side coming on too. We'll uh, 
ID them shortly. But uh, just to remind people about the, the big schedules that these schools have. And, of course, New Plymouth playing the uh, Super 8 competition. And before that all's uh, kicked off, they beat Grammar in a good win two weeks ago. They lost to Wanganui Collegiate and they lost to Fielding High School in a pre-season game. But they've got Hamilton, St. Pat's, Tauranga, Palmy, Gisborne, Hastings, Westlake, Napier and Rotorua to come. So that's a massive schedule for boys high. You remember those days, Hamish? Yeah, yeah, we were the very first year, uh, 1998, which we, we came in, Super 8, and it's 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 a big year. Um, a lot of travel, um, especially when you have to go to places like Gisborne. We went over and stayed the night, played the next day, and then travelled 12 hours to come home on the bus. Yeah, so, big day. Yeah, um, things have changed a little bit since then, um, thank goodness. Uh, but, yeah, still week in, week out. Great tournament to be in. Um, it really te te tests your depth, though, mm. um, with injuries. So, But all good. Looked forward to it. It's, it's great for the game. Um, showcase these boys' talent and, and also, um, yeah, get them around the country. And Francis Douglas playing the Central North Island competition. They went to Melbourne for an exchange in the pre-season. They lost to Palmerston North and Fielding. They played Fielding on Saturday. Then they play St. John's Hamilton on Saturday this week so effectively they're in the middle of a storm week and they're doing well today to bounce back from that one but they've got uh, St. John's, Rathkill, Wanganui, St. Peter's, St. Paul's, Linda's Farm, St. John's, Hastings, Wesley College to come. So nice for these two teams to play in those regional competitions. Oh, it's, it's great for Taranaki Rugby, this, these, are, these are the future, these boys here, um, even if they go off to uni and stuff I'd, you'd hope like they'd come back and play there. Rugby in, in Taranaki. Just a reset scrum there. First one. Not bad. Certainly could be a lot worse off on that side of things, Will. Yeah. I think uh, saying in the first half that it's quite hard to determine who's got dominance, but I think now Francis, uh, sorry, New Plymouth probably got the upper hand looking at it at the moment. Yeah, again, it's just it's it's been interesting, really. It's it's the ball's about to go in. Hopefully, oh, yep. Referee's no. going to blow it. No. In on the angles, the call, and a chance here for Francis Douglas. Will they go for the points? Because the lineout hasn't been working for the last couple of times, and they are shot called. Yeah, wise decision. Take the points on offer. Keep the board ticking over. Get your noses in front. Yeah, just uh, as we're talking about, they've been, yeah, pretty straightforward scrums there, but uh, boys quite guilty of not actually putting the ball in the right time as well and, and just gave the opportunity for the ref to make a uh, ruling and unfortunately went against them. So big opportunity here for uh, Morgan now to put College just in front. Just the two points so far for Morgan today. Conversion in the first half. Missed a conversion uh, moments ago. But this time it's on target. Penalty kick is successful. And they take the score out to 15-12. They're in the lead for the second time in the 28th match between these two teams. And Francis Douglas haven't won this game since 2014. Yeah, they are, uh, they are a big sniff today, Will. Um, as I say, what they've done, they've done well. Um, and they're... Yeah, definitely good with a big chance now. Got their noses in front. Boys, I have to work hard. Wiseman with the restart. Goes into the hands of uh, number six, Charlie Johnson, and they get it out to the back line. Sinclair. Logan Smith to clear downfield. Nielsen there in front of his home crowd. Wiseman again cuts back in field. And a uh, couple of the replacements on as well so we'll uh, certainly identify them as they get ball in hand number 20 though was Milden he's the replacement halfback as a Tola has another carry Milden plugging it away to that far side of the field into the shade they go Milden again Wiseman Tola in the backfield there's Cole the centre McLean with a high up tackle up towards the 10 metre line go New Plymouth Wiseman back in position. Cut out pass number 21 is Rover, who came on in the early stages of the second half. Milden running onto it as Mitchell in some space. Plays the ball. He can get up and go again. 
Clever play there by the young man. Milden to Wiseman. Cole now, round his man. Trying to look for the pass, and he does so. These numbers away to that far side for New Plymouth. It's going to be easy. Nielsen, round the outside and scores. Braden Nielsen, that's the third try for New Plymouth. Outstanding try. Good build up. Quick buck ball went to the width on the edge here. Mitchell back on the hard line again. Quick ball played on, and then yeah, some lovely handing out wide, and uh, come up with the uh, the chocolates. So back in front, ding dong stuff as I said earlier on. Both teams are working really hard. That edge has been threatening, hasn't it, throughout the second half? Oh, it has. There's been space out there, and they just, as I said, they've just probably lacked the let like, once one final pass. Um, yep, finally came off, and yeah, did really well and scored. Nice try in the corner. So Harry Fever's gone off. So a new kicker here for New Plymouth. Jack Wiseman. Pretty crucial kick to take them out beyond a, a try and also a penalty kick. few whistles around the ground, low trajectory and it's away to the right. So the score remains 17-15. The Nielsen try not converted, 57 minutes gone. And Nielsen's looked pretty dangerous with the ball in hand uh, most of the day. He's obviously uh, yeah, son of Mark, so he's, he's got some good skills, good athletic background as well. Um, good sprinter, high jumper. Um, yeah, so really crucial now. Boys, I get a good exit and uh, get out of this... Uh, their half. Long restart from Morgan. Reeve Nelly. Good cricketer, good South Taranaki boy. Runs it up to the 22. Milden will clear himself. A little bit of pressure there. And his, replay, his uh, opposite and Mitchell runs back and gets it for Francis Douglas. And they've got possession inside the half. Mitchell had to release him, and he did. This time puts his head down into the ruck, but the college still have it back, and number 19 is Oliver Roberts. Tola over the ball. Can't win it. Parrott picks it up. Distributes to Mitchell now. On his own, though. Breaks away from a couple of tackles. Didn't quite get the pass off to Sinclair. And Parrott now. Always around those rucks. Had a couple of good carries today. And the college now can set it up. And Riley Mitchell goes in and grabs it. But no, he's going to be penalised. Referee not happy with his angle. And uh, he may have been injured in the process as well. But again, few options here when play restarts, Hamish. Yeah, that, that's why I say that, that last... Uh shot at goal off the try would, would, would put them beyond uh, a three-point buffer. So, again, ten minutes to go. College put this over and they're uh, back in front. Yeah, I think he probably had one crack too many again. Yeah, right? yeah went in twice, I think. And yeah. uh, by that stage, if you go again, the ruck formed and you can't put your hands in the cookie jar no. twice. His, mind you, his work rate today has been... Phenomenal. I know he is my nephew, but credit where credit's due. I agree. He's worked hard all day. Not bad for a young 15-year-old. Uh, Good break and play here. The boys will enjoy the, uh, enjoy the breather. Yeah, he made an injury there to his leg. By the looks of it. And good sportsmanship there shown by Zach Parrott, the uh, Francis Douglas captain, just making sure his opposite's okay. Oh, it might, might be a shoulder, is it? Yeah. No, don't look happy. No. Fingers crossed the recovery is not too prolonged. I want them back playing. 
from a good rugby family, as you know, Hamish, and uh, the, the chat around the dinner table would be would be interesting. Yeah, it'd certainly be even more interesting if they don't get up today. But um, as I say, I've got a foot in both camps, so I'm pretty happy yeah. either way. You got a son at uh, Francis Douglas, so yeah, no, he's enjoying it, and um, yeah, just got to follow where your mates go, and uh, keen hockey player, so get both for me. The distraction is ignored there from Jackson Sinclair and Francis Douglas, sorry, Jax Morgan, Francis Douglas, 18-17, they take the lead again. Oh, Riley's decided he's okay and he's back. Is he so, back playing? Oh, yeah. he's a tough man. Bit of magic water. Yeah. So the Jax Morgan penalty is successful. Oh. Man, this is going to be a tight finish. We've got yeah. about 10 to play here at the gully. The college looking for their first win since 2014. And New Plymouth looking for nine wins in a row. Collins Typort at the back there, the fullback. Here's Nielsen, that try scorer, trying to get round the outside. Look oh, at his injection of pace. is unbelievable. Up towards the 22. And it is quick ball here for New Plymouth. Wiseman, off it goes into the back line. That's a Fatamayas back on. He went off in the first half. And they've got the turnover there, do uh, Francis Douglas. No, Ooh. they're going to be penalised for it. And a chance here to get back in the lead with a potential penalty kick. But Nielsen's break, he went lateral, then he found that space and cut through. He's impressive. Yeah, he's had a good, good day out. And again, you just... Cannot teach pace. It's uh, you either got it or you haven't. And he certainly has got that in, in, in tons and tons. So, yeah, kicking back to that back three is, is at their own detriment at the moment. Um, Francis Douglas, probably better look to kick to kick out if they can and contest the line out. So Wiseman will uh, have a chance here to edge in front again. Third lead change. Third lead change, second half. Not an easy kick. Back into probably the breeze a little bit. Left footed. He might have to just uh, start at left, right post, and bring it round. Noise coming from this side. Yeah. Contrast to the other side, whereas uh, school is there watching on. And this kick here is straight through. They take the lead back to New Plymouth Boys High School. 20 points to 18 with about seven and a half to go. Yep, pressure cooker now. Can't afford to shut up shop both teams. Still got to play rugby. Take your opportunities. Put a seal on this game, one of these two teams. Jax Morgan to get play back underway. Another long restart. The fullback, Collins Taipo, to clear. And there will be a line out just inside their half. College to throw. Reasonable clearance there, too. So they'll back up around another 50. McLean. Who's had a pretty good shift for Francis Douglas. Boys High go up early and get it. They're going to be free okay. kick, though, for it. Gone I think, was penalised, or it may have been uh, Sean O'Sullivan. Up early. And they can't kick for the line because it's only a free kick. They could tap and go, and the scrum has been called by Perrett. Yeah, good option. As I said, uh, scrums are fairly even, so uh, looked really... Uh, Build a good platform off here and, and use a good strike. Move out wide, see if they can break the defence. As the hucker on the far side gets underway. Ashton Mitchell to feed. 
And the shunt coming from New Plymouth, but it's been controlled at the back. Mitchell gets it from Perrot. Nice little wrap around there. Normanton to Smith now up from full back into the line. And they've got to release him on the ground. Yep, that's a penalty there on that far side. As soon as that knee goes down, you must release him. And they've got to be careful, New Plymouth. They don't continue to give away penalties. Yeah, they're just uh, in the area where it's becoming an opportunity for Morgan to kick. Might be just out of his range here, I think. Or maybe not. What's? Yep, no, yeah. to the sideline. Yeah, there's a couple of players going. Go to the sideline, and this one is out. Good kick. Yeah. Needed to be made, needed to go into touch. As we look into the sun here at the gully. 2018, five to play on the ground clock. Huge opportunity here for college to put a stake in the ground here and, and take this game away from Boys High on their home ground. Edge of the seat stuff. They go for another one. We've seen a few of those so far today. So long it goes straight and five, it's okay. They've left it behind Francis Douglas. The first one went backwards, then the covering defence coming through knocked it on. So they get another chance in centre field. Almost even better opportunity here with being a midfield scrum. Two ways you can attack. Yeah. Hard to defend. The Lucy's have got to stay on, got to scrum first. Number 18 is on for Francis Douglas, John O'Lang. Evenly spread is the college. It screws, but they've got it at the back. There's Parrott running away with it. Up towards the 22 for Francis Douglas. Number 17 is Hawaii Manutai. Running onto it is uh, Oliver Roberts, nephew of coach Tim Stuck and principal of the school. Mitchell, who has had a really good performance at halfback, feeding it away to that left-hand side, and they continue to go that way. There's Parrot again. New Plymouth desperate to get the turnover on their 22. Morgan to McLean. Trying to get the turnover again, told to get off it. Morgan's waiting for it. Off it goes into the midfield to Jack Gilmore. They haven't gone anywhere though. Francis Douglas. McLean's got to go in and play halfback. Back to Parrott. The defence so far from New Plymouth is good. Number 17 is uh, Manutai. Up over the advantage line. Cameron with a carry. Patient build up here, doing everything right. Loose at the back, Mitchell. Parrot again went into contact at that previous tackle. And look, just edging ever so close. They're about seven metres out. Drop goal range too. Francis Douglas, they are two. Two point advantage to New Plymouth. No one's back in the pocket yet. And oh, it's been knocked on. on. That's a big one. Two, just over two minutes to play on the ground clock and they knock it on at the back. That's what pressure does. So if New Plymouth clear, then Francis Douglas got to start again. So more players down. Toddy Wolf on from uh, bounce back physiotherapy. Looks like a knee injury. Well, it's met all expectations, hasn't it, despite the result. And we thought it would be tight. You Plymouth boys haven't played in about two weeks. Francis Douglas effectively in the middle of a storm week. But it's reached all expectations, and uh, there's something special about playing here at the Gully. Oh, look, it's, it has certainly gone above expectations. Um, both teams have left everything out on the field, and um, I think the scoreboard reflects the game at the moment. Can go either way. One big effort, whether it be a scrum, a big tackle, can turn the game, a good clearance.
Yeah, I don't know what happened there. Well, it sort of just might have not been put in, or... Yeah, I think Rowan gladding the referee, just coming on that side, just to saying to Mitchell, look, feed it in, mate. We don't want to... Or, or don't play around with them, I should say. We don't want to penalise you down this end of the park. No, it would be, uh, wouldn't be to his advantage to be doing that. And Milden to feed for Boys High. Border head of Niger House. And again, players just getting a little bit tired. All playing games, one of the two. You, you'll be used to that, Hamish, wouldn't oh, you? Oh, look, it's all about, yeah. It's about gamesmanship, mate. Absolutely. Run that clock down. Take it to the point where uh, just get the scrum done and get out, hopefully. Boys High's point of view. Big scrum from Fung Dung. Yeah, it's a big one there. Here's Tola. Given the role oh, to get over. There. Is it a knock-on? Francis Douglas pleading for it. No call there coming from Rowan Gladding. And the clearance coming. And referee looking at his watch. There's still time to players there. Oh. Maybe one last throw of the dice as oh. the scoreboard ticks over 70 minutes. Is there a twist in this tail? Got to get the clean ball here, College. Riding where they need to be. Edge of your seat stuff. Yeah, oh, and they win the line out to oh, New Plymouth. Loose. No, it's been kicked in. And Rowan Gladding signals full time. The juggernaut continues. Nine wins on the bounce for New Plymouth Boys High School. And it was an absolute cracker here at the gully. The home team winning this game 20 points to 18. Well, they had an opportunity there at the college to control it at the line-out, but they couldn't quite do so. But yeah. what a game it was. Oh, look, it's, yeah, credit to both teams. Outstanding game of footy. Great day for rugby here at, at the gully. And, and uh, um, yeah, as I just say, can't say much more than that. Um, both teams put it all out on the ground. And, unfortunately, in the game, you're going to be one winner. But, to me, uh, rugby, full stop in Taranaki and, and at secondary school level was a winner today. Yep, absolutely. So 20 points to 18. It was 12-7 at half time. And then uh, the score changed about three or four times during the second half, didn't it? It was, uh, it was pretty good. But it gives uh, both teams uh, a little bit of confidence now heading into the remainder of their season. Of course, New Plymouth boys moving forward into the regional knockout matches. And they continue to retain the John George Max Carroll Trophy for the ninth year in a row. Pretty good game though, Hamish. And uh, what do you think both teams will take away from it? Oh, I can think they can both say that they've, you know, not the biggest two teams in probably secondary school rugby, but they play with a lot of heart, mate. And that's, yeah, as you say, you can't teach that. Um, you can do all the bench press and all the leg press and all that stuff, get big muscles, but the biggest muscle you've got is your ticker, and then yep. you're going to go all right, so... Nah, pretty proud of both schools. As I say, it's a spectacle. Um, really, really good. Uh, going forward, long seasons, but um, as I say, it'll test their depth. But uh, I wish both schools uh, all the best of luck going forward. Absolutely. Well, I really appreciate your time, Hamish, on the call. Thanks so much for uh, giving up your afternoon. Oh, my pleasure. Um, yeah, always, always uh, good to be here and uh, yeah, enjoy my time, Well, Thanks very much. No worries at all. New Plymouth Boys High School, nine wins on the bounce and they win this game 20 points to 18 over Francis Douglas Memorial College. Thanks so much for joining us.